good morning students after conformal transformation we are going to discuss on bilinear transformation this is one of the transformation in complex numbers the transformation of the form omega equal to az plus b divided by cz plus d whereas ad minus bc must not be equal to 0 are called bilinear transformation and here the constants a b c d are the real or complex numbers this is linear bilinear com called because of the degree of z is one year that's why it is a linear transformation in this some note we have to prepare uh, we have to uh, understand then we can solve the examples on this if a point z maps onto itself it is omega equal to z and under bilinear transformation then such point is known as invariant point or a fixed point then we should understand the one more cross ratio method the cross ratio of set of four points is preserved under the bilinear transformation if omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 omega 4 are the images of z1 z2 z3 z4 under bilinear transformation then the cross ratio of four points is preserved under bilinear transformation of omega points therefore <coughs> this is a cross ratio method then how to remember that cross ratio method trick there is a trick to remember the cross ratio of four points if omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 omega 4 are the four points in omega plane then the cross ratio of these four points can be remembered as first omega 1 minus omega 2 will take divided by second omega 2 minus omega 3 and again in the numerator omega 3 minus omega 4 divided by omega 4 minus omega 1 or omega 1 minus omega 4 this is a one right hand side similarly z1 z2 z3 z4 are four points in z plane then the cross ratio of these four points is written in the form this one z1 minus z2 divided by z2 minus z3 into z3 minus z4 divided by z4 minus z1 this is a cross ratio method how to remember then let me solve one example on this whereas the three points in omega plane that is whose uh, cofact uh, this one um, images will be given in the z plane that is example let me discuss here find the bilinear transformation that transforms the point z 1 i minus 1 onto the point omega equal to 2 i minus 2 and hence find the invariant point this z1 z2 is transforming it into <coughs> omega equal to 2 i minus 1 1 is transformed into 2 i is transformed into i minus 1 is transformed into 2 then what is that bilinear transformation omega equal to a z plus b divided by c z plus d what are these coefficients a b c d so that these three points are transformed into these three points we have to find out here we have given uh, three points omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 using cross ratio method of these three points and including one more point omega <coughs> we'll find the we will write the cross ratio method for these four points as omega minus omega 1 omega 1 minus omega 2 and into omega 2 minus omega 3 divided by omega in minus omega 3 like that cross ratio for z also we can write as z minus z1 divided by z1 minus z2 into z2 minus z3 divided by z minus z3 and then substituting omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 z1 z2 z3 and respectively we will find omega minus 2 divided by omega plus 2 and i plus 2 divided by 2 minus i and on the right hand side 
थर्ड माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय थर्ड प्लस वन इनटू आई प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस आई शिफ्टिंग दिस टू द राइट हैंड साइड टू माइनस आई डिवाइडेड बाय टू प्लस आई सिंपलीफाइंग दिस टू टर्म्स ओनली प्रोडक्ट इस टू वन इनटू टू वन इनटू आई माइनस आई आई इनटू टू आई आई इनटू माइनस आई माइनस आई स्क्वायर सिमिलर डिवाइडेड इन द डिनोमिनेटर वन इनटू टू माइनस आई इनटू वन इनटू टू वन इनटू आई एंड आई नस आई इनटू टू माइनस आई इनटू आई स्क्वायर सिंपलीफाइंग दिस वी लिख इट जड माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय जड प्लस वन इनटू टू माइनस आई स्क्वायर वी बिकम माइनस वन माइनस ऑफ माइनस प्लस वन देवरफॉर वन प्लस टू इक्वल टू थ्री माइनस आई प्लस टू माइनस आई डिवाइडेड बाय टू प्लस वन थ्री माइनस वन पी लेट मी कंसीडर दिस होल टर्म एज पी ओके सब्सिट्यूट हियर देवरफॉर ओमेगा टू माइनस ओमेगा डिवाइडेड ओमेगा माइनस टू डिवाइडेड बाय ओमेगा प्लस टू विल बिकम पी इन टू ओमेगा प्लस वन एंड देन शिफ्टिंग टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड टेकिंग कॉमन ओमेगा फ्रॉम दिस टू ओमेगा इन टू वन माइनस पी दिस विल बिकम माइनस टू इज टेकन कॉमन वन प्लस पी शिफ्टिंग दिस टू द राइट हैंड साइड देन वी हैव टू सॉल्व फॉर ओमेगा इक्वल टू और सब्सिट्यूट फॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ पी वॉट यू कंसिडर एज पी जड माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय जड प्लस वन इन टू थ्री प्लस आई डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री माइनस आई वी गेट ओमेगा इन टू वन माइनस पी प्लस इक्वल टू टू इन टू वन प्लस पी सिंप्लीफाइंग टेकिंग एल सी एम इयर जड प्लस वन इन टू थ्री माइनस आई माइनस जड माइनस वन इन टू थ्री प्लस आई एल सी एम टेकन एज जड प्लस वन इन टू थ्री माइनस आई सिमिलरली राइट हैंड साइड ऑल्सो एल सी एम इज जड प्लस वन इन टू थ्री माइनस आई देर फोर वन इन टू विल बिकम जड प्लस वन इन टू थ्री माइनस आई प्लस दिस वन देर फोर जड प्लस वन इन टू थ्री माइनस आई ऑन बोथ साइड विल कैंसिल इन द डिनोमिनेटर देन शिफ्टिंग दिस टू द राइट हैंड साइड टू इन टू न्यूमरेटर डिवाइडेड बाय दिस विल कम डिनोमिनेटर देन सॉलिंग दिस ब्रैकेट्स विल गेट थ्री जड माइनस जड आई प्लस थ्री माइनस आई प्लस जड इंटू थ्री थ्री जड जड इंटू आई जड आई माइनस थ्री माइनस आई सिमिलरली इन द डिनोमिनेटर थ्री जड माइनस जड आई प्लस थ्री माइनस आई ड्यू टू दिस माइनस द साइंस विल चेंज यर थ्री जड माइनस थ्री जड माइनस जड आई एंड माइनस थ्री विल बिकम प्लस थ्री माइनस आई विल बिकम प्लस आई then zadi zadi cancels plus 3 minus 3 cancels remaining 6z plus 2i and denominator 3z 3z cancels zadi minus zadi minus 2 zadi 3 plus 3 6 rearranging the terms by taking two common in the denominator 2 to cancels rearranging the terms in the form of az plus b divided by cz plus t therefore we will get a equal to 6 b equal to um, 2i c equal to minus i and d equal to 3 this is our required bilinear transformation this is one method by using the cross ratio method four points and their cross ratios were used like that another method is there i hope that one you feel as the simplest one let me discuss that method also here for the same problem with the another method we have the bilinear transformation omega equal to az plus b divided by cz plus d at z equal to 1 it is transformed into omega equal to 2 therefore let me substitute z equal to 1 and omega equal to 2 in this equation i will get 2 is equal to A into one plus B divided by C into one plus D. Simplifying this, A plus B, shifting this one and again taking to the left hand side minus two C minus two D. This is one equation. Like that, other two points also transforms. Z will transform. Z equal to I is also transformed into omega equal to I. Substituting Z equal to I and 
omega equal to i in this equation and so we have simplified in this one that is a i plus b equal to c into i square plus d into i i square is minus 1 shifting to the left hand side will become plus 1 minus d equal to 0 second equation z equal to minus 1 is, uh, is also transforming into omega equal to minus 2 therefore minus 2 equal to this then minus a plus b equal to minus 2 into minus d plus d shifting to the left side minus a plus b minus 2c plus 2d equal to 0 these three equations are there we have we are solving for a b c three equations are there with us but four unknowns therefore which is not possible easily to find the values of a b c that's why what we'll do here we'll convert two equations into three variables to do that here plus a minus a is there therefore equation 1 plus 3 if i'm doing then plus a plus a cancel minus a cancels remaining terms i can find out here that is b plus b 2b minus 2c minus 2c will become minus 4c minus 2d plus 2d also cancels therefore this is one of my equation only with three variables b c d like that one more equation i want by eliminating a i will a i is there minus a is there again i will multiply equation 3 by i and add it to 2 and 2 therefore it's equation 2 as it is equation 3 is multiplied by i minus a i plus b i minus 2 i into c plus 2 d into i subtracting minus a i plus a cancels b plus b i b is taken common 1 plus i and again here c is taken common 1 minus 2 i into c and here d is minus uh, minus d i plus 2 d i will become d i now from equation 4 and 3 are left with only three variables that is b c d here also b c d to find the relation between b c d using these two methods i will use cross ratio method for this therefore b divided by the coefficients of uh, b divided by the determinant of coefficients of c d from the two equations minus 2 coefficient here c 0 from second equation 1 minus 2 i and coefficient of d is i like that c divided by c divided by 0 1 and here c divided by i and 1 plus i d divided by 1 minus 2 1 plus i we will go in the cyclic way while selecting this the uh, uh, coefficients here that will remain in the same one constant k therefore b divided by solving this determinant minus 2i plus 0 c divided by 0 minus i d divided by 1 minus 2i into minus of minus plus 1 plus simplifying we will get minus 2i plus 2i cancels therefore b divided by minus 2i c divided by i d divided by i equal to k b will become minus 2i into k c will become minus i into k d will become 3k substituting now b c d we have got but how to find out a to find out that a i will substitute all these b c d in equation number 3 that will become a equal to b minus a equal to b minus 2c plus 2d substituting b c and d simplifying we will get a equal to 6k using all these a b c d in the bilinear transformation we are going to get it as omega equal to az plus v divided by cz plus t equal to 6kz plus minus 2i into k divided by this is a this is a b c and d simplifying k is taken common k cancels therefore omega equal to 6z minus 2i divided by this is which is a required by linear transformation this is the same as what we have solved by the previous method also 
omega equal to 6 z minus 2 i divided by both are same whichever method you feel easy that method you can follow now one more point is there in the question that is to find the invariant point in the uh, we have discussed that invariant point means the point where uh, transforms into same point omega equal to z that point is known as invariant point under the bilinear transformation therefore let me substitute omega equal to z in our transformation omega equal to z that is z equal to this one then cross multiplying z into minus i z plus 3 equal to 6 z minus 2 i minus i z square plus 3 z minus left hand side if you transform this one you will become minus 6 z plus 2 i equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation in z solving for z we get z equal to minus b minus of minus 3 plus or minus square root of b square minus 3 square minus 4 ac 4 into a and c divided by 2 a therefore minus of minus plus 3 square root of 9 minus 8 why it is 8 4 into 2 8 minus i square will become i square will become minus 1 therefore it is minus 8 therefore 9 minus 8 equal to plus 1 therefore z equal to 3 plus or minus 1 divided by 2i z equal to 4 divided by, if you are taking plus it will become 4 divided by 2i if you are taking minus it will become 3 minus 1 divided by 2 then 2 ones are 2 2 the will get therefore minus 2 divided by i or 1 by minus i usually we are not keeping that uh, i in the denominator therefore we know that 1 by i equal to minus i property therefore minus 2 into minus i equal to plus 2i z equal to i these two are invariant points and we can check in the problem itself they have given one of the invariant point that is i is transforming into i z equal to i is one of the invariant point another invariant point is with us is z equal to 2 is also our another invariant point therefore z equal to plus 2i and z equal to i are the two invariant points for this bilinear transformation thank you